Uh, okay, now our most wanted list of 2010. As we said, we spent a year reviewing these toys. In fact, we're taking off next week to start looking at 2011 products. Uh, we look at trends, and the 16 that we're announcing today are the ones that we predict are going to be among the hottest this year. In addition to the value and play value we talked about earlier, one of the things all of these toys has in common is great play. So whether it's a classic toy or a tech toy, that means it's play that engages the imagination at the very basic level. And that's really the central element to bringing a toy to life, which is the child's imagination. Air Hawks Moto Frenzy. Okay. This is an incredible, virtual, powerful RC vehicle that allows the thrill of racing and a wide variety of tricks and stunts, all kinds of great stuff, not to mention flat out speed. Uh, it's the kind of product that will engage even grown up boys. I think a lot of adults are going to love this as well, with its classic play pattern and great performance. This is Air Hobbs Moto Frenzy from Spin Man. This toy takes princesses to new high in the large doll category, with the first exclusive exclusive to ever make our list. It's oh, Disney sorry. Princess and Me. Yeah. We have two, this is where we have two princesses here. This is from Jack Pacific. Now she's actually the perfect, perfect model to bring this out because these dolls aren't merely beautiful. They represent a whole new way of play that combines a variety of classic play patterns. And they're inspired by the beloved Disney princesses, but they're not necessarily the princesses. It's an experience centered on the girls. Uh, what we love about this is the, the underlying message is, you know, a princess is first and foremost a good friend. And these are beautiful dolls. They're a Toys R Us exclusive. This is Disney Princess and Me from Jack's Pacific. Hot Wheels RC Stealth Rides. Okay. This is an extension of the Top Toy Vehicle line. It's got great performance, great price, and an amazing transformation. Show us, show us sure. how it transforms. Pops out, fits in that thing that's uh, about the size of a, of a, a deck of cars. This is the kind of toy I loved when I was a kid, which is why I spent so much time in detention. Uh, and it's just a yeah. great element. It's a great uh, interpretation of RC. $24.99. This really is a pretty magical toy. Disney Hot, uh, Hot Wheels RC Stealth Ride from the Frog has updated your Leapster to make playing educational games better than ever before. Here's the Leapster Explorer. We love this because educational play means handheld gaming in a dramatic new way. Now this play pattern has been around for several years, but LeapFrog has really pushed it to the next level with a new level of functionality, uh, increased hardware, uh, complemented by outstanding content that's the richest and most diverse ever. Um, add to this a user-friendly interface, and you get a play pattern and a device that has truly come of age. This is the Leapster Explorer for me. This is great. You know, I first saw these games in Nuremberg in 2009, and I said, bring them now, bring them now. And they said, no, you have to wait a year. Uh, they combine great play, Lego construction. They, they're really great uh, play experiences. The building is fun, and they're really well-engineered games, so especially the Harry Potter game. This is a very immersive game. It's true innovation and a great extension to one of the world's most popular brands. These are the Lego games from Lego Systems. Last year, Mattel used Brainwave technology to bring us the hate game Mindflex. This year, they're bringing sensor technology to the gaming aisle with Loops. Classic skill in action. You've seen this a hundred times. It's a great electronic game, advanced technology, and motion sensors. It's a hilarious challenge. People of all ages. This is a game I can actually beat Jim at every once in a while. Not very often. Uh, <laughs> it's always different, but this is why it makes it a great game. It's always different depending on who's playing it. It's different every time it's played. And most of all, once you're finished, you want to play it immediately right again. This is Loops from Twilight and Vampire Diaries. They're the hot genre right now. And Mattel's timing couldn't be better with a homegrown brand that's is for that their retail. Case? It's Monster High! Yeah. As Jim said, this brand is completely on trend. The thing that's amazing is Mattel really went out on a limb and built this from the ground up and launched it on the internet. The whole premise is that these monsters have grown up and they've had teenage kids like Dracula, Claudia Wolf, and they've got teenage problems. There's a level of comedy and humor that they've, that they've uh, built into it that's perfect for the girls. It's also bringing older girls back into the fashion doll aisle, crossing the line between a fashion doll and a collectible, and it's a great reason and a cool way to stay in dolls and, and a whole line that we think is really impressive. This is Monster High from uh, Mattel. It's the Nerf and Strike Stampede ECS Blaster. This is awesome. This is the one Jim won't share with any of us in the office. It's right around where we play the outrageous firepower, easy to use, and of course, the soft safe Nerf Dark. Nerf dark. Classic boy play pattern designed for eight and up. And we actually believe that the end up contingent is probably going to spin out by more of these uh, than just the eight girls.
If you want to be king of the playground, this is the blaster you have got to have. Or king of the office. Or king of the office, which you already are. But this is the Nerf and Strike Stampede ECS blaster from Hasbro. This toy is a real breakthrough. Five years ago, it couldn't have been made for anywhere near this price point. It's paper jams. You know, and as Jim said, when we first saw this last year, we thought it was going to cost twice as much as it did. Conductive ink technology, awesome chips. Uh, I happen to know a group of 11-year-olds who are absolutely insane over this. And they're also real musicians. So it really bridges the gap between music and play, creates a wonderful play experience for them. So whether they're rocking out to the pre-programmed songs or creating their own, this is a great play pattern that lets kids be creative and interactive while actually making some music. These are paper jams from Wowie. A natural for young boys, this toy might make them useful husbands later in life. <laughs> it is real construction. You know, every once in a while you go into a showroom and you go, oh wow, that is amazing. Uh, this is actually simulated wood, it's foam. It actually feels like you're cutting, so for little hands, they really feel like they're building with wood. With wood. It's versatile, it's open-ended, it's been merchandised in a brilliant way so you can feel like you're going to Home Depot when you're in the toy aisle. A lot of different sets. It's a unique and wonderful uh, entry into the construction what category. This is real construction yeah. from Jack Pacific. One of the best-selling games of all time and incorporating with modern technology, it's Scrabble Play. And it is one of the most exciting sure. games of the year. We love this game. Five electronic tiles use RFID to communicate with one another. There's three different games built in. Like and you can you can uh, switch them around and create solo play, group play. This is one we, we really can't stop playing in the office. We played it with some kids. Kids of different ages have all gotten really into it. It's an engaging, great game, a real breakthrough, and a wonderful move for the Scrabble brand. This is Scrabble Flash. You know, every once in a while, you just see a toy that makes you smile. And this is it. The silly movies that sing, they do all kinds of uh, harmony. Uh, they just are fun. And they're about $12.99. They're selling out everywhere. Again, you can't pick them up. We've seen people of all ages pick them up. They can't put them down. And, you know, we can all use a laugh, and, and Singamajigs does that. The Singamajigs from the solo last year, it's possible for a small toy company to have a huge hit. This year, the surprise hit comes from a small toy company called Blip Toys. This is proof that the dream lives, that the smallest of toy companies with a great idea can have a hit toy. With these toys already scarce, you can't find them at retail, it is Squeakies! Hey, kids love capsule toys. They love these and they're unique and uniquely collectible. They're adorable characters. You open them up, they're soft. Um, the play pattern is all about classic collect collectability. The appeal is timeless. Whether a springboard for social play, collecting, or individual play, we think this is going to be really, really hard to get. This is one that Shannon would say, if you see it, buy it. Yeah. They're going to be in short supply. These are squinkies from Blip Toys. Chuck My Tuck and Truck has been a leading seller the past two years. Given a whole new way to play with Chuck, here's Talk to Chuck and Friends, Chuck oh, Stuck Talk. Yeah. Okay, we love it. Leveraging the 65 3 year old Talk to Friends. And a new character, Chuck. This is a creative, whimsical toy that engages kids. It's got open ended play. They create the stunt park as they go along, lets kids build fantastic tracks, and a great humanoid character who has a personality who just happens to be a truck. This is Talk to Chuck and Friends, Chuck Stunt Park. In three words, it's Kindle for Kids. Here's the B Reader. This was another wow for us when we saw it at Toy Fair last year for the first time. It's the, really the essence of the best in play because what it does is it takes an adult activity, a pop activity, using an e reader, and interprets it in a way that's completely appropriate for children. Little kids are going to feel grown up while they have their own sophisticated e reader. The games are appropriate for kids. Uh, it's outstanding design and execution, make this a completely immersive reading and playing experience. We love this. It's the V. Tech V Reader. Last one. Last year, Bakugan dominated the boys' aisles with sales exceeding $400 million. Taking the magic of Bakugan and translating to a girl's toy isn't easy, but Spin Master has done the trick with Zubles. This is exactly the kind of magic that has hit written all over. The transforming design, outstanding uh, detailing, and approachable com complexity of this has that made Bakugan such a hit has been interpreted in a way that's completely appropriate for girls in the way they play. Uh, from the color to collectability and more, it's going to be a really huge hit. This is Zubles from Spin Master.